たらたらたたらたらおらがたたたらたたたたたらたらたよ。Hello, <coughs> this is Ann Tillman speaking, and he wants to tell you that you look out for something special. I was looking around in my basement, <coughs> and I found a box. This box contained four Thomas and Friends Brio engines. Look out. For them in my new episode, except one of them will not be shown, and that is Lady. Just so you know. And here's the episode. <coughs> one day, Edward, Thomas, Percy, and Stanley <coughs> were talking at the docks. Have you heard the news? said Percy. No, I haven't, said Edward. What is it? Well, apparently, since so many accidents have occurred on the island of troublesome trucks, Sir Tom Hatt is sending two new vans over. Oh no, two more troublesome vans. <clears throat> I'm afraid so. And then they gasped. Edward gasped. There were two brown vans Toby had unloaded. I mean, Cranky had unloaded. Oh no, here they are, said Edward. Oh no, said Stanley. <clears throat> then the manager came out. Percy, I need you to take these trucks over to Ed, over to Emily at the big, big bridge up the big, big hill. Hurry now. Yes, sir, said Percy. And he went off with his load up and up and up the big, big hill. He had reached the big, big hill and there was Emily waiting at the station. Hello, Percy, said Emily. Why, hello, Emily. Here are your trucks. Now, thanks. <clears throat> Percy quickly uncoupled and then raced away. Wow, that Percy sure is fast. Well, I better take these trucks. I'm just left with two brown clowns. The brown clowns were very annoyed that they had to follow the rules. Let's bend the rules a bit. <coughs> You're right, said the other truck. Let's bend the rules. So the family chuffed. She went up the bridge as usual. But then catastrophe struck. The trucks banged her and banged her so much that she had hit one of the supports. And suddenly, the, vi the bay bridge started to crumble right below her. Help me! Said Emily. She crashed onto a part of the bridge that was falling over. Her tender fell into the ocean. Oh no, someone help! But this part of the bridge had broken, and Gordon was stuck. Ah! said Gordon. The bridge shook and he fell off with a mighty bang. Thomas, it's up to you! called the dockyard manager when he heard the news. I'm on my way! And I raced up the bridge. I'm here, Emily. Good, now take the trucks away to safety. But just do it! Thomas raced away as the bridge fell over and Emily was still in peril. <clears throat> High above the, the skies, Harold went down and down. He 
he quickly hitched a rope to Emily and pulled her up into the air and put her on a safe track out of the way. That night, Emily thanked Thomas, Percy, Edward. That night at the works, Emily thanked Thomas and Percy for their help. Hooray for the Sodor heroes! Said Edward and Stanley whistled loudly. <coughs> And just then, so Tom Hat walked up. Just then, a worker walked up. You were very brave, Thomas and Percy. As for you, brown clowns, hold on a bit. Because if you do another one of the stunts again, you can join you, your friends in the scrapyard. Uh? They muttered. Oh no. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, but we're only rolling stock. Oh yeah. Engine! And Billy raced off, pitched up to them, and raced away. Ah! Well, that's the end of those brown clowns and everyone laughed even Emily